Well, Pfizer's COVID vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11 could be available as early as this week. And now the challenge is to get those shots into the arms of hundreds of thousands of kids here in Michigan. I spoke with the state's new chief medical officer about the push getting underway to vaccinate Michigan kids. And the vaccine rollout for children won't look like the effort to vaccinate their parents. For Coretta Kemp, a pediatric COVID-19 vaccine can't come soon enough to protect her grandson, Derek. I lost my dad to COVID and I almost lost my mother as well. So, yes, it definitely plays a factor. I've been vaccinated myself, so I'm definitely going to have him vaccinated. Kim plans to have Derek vaccinated at the pediatrician's office, and those trusted providers will be a key part of the vaccine rollout, according to Michigan's chief medical officer, Dr. Natasha Bagdasarian. What we've heard is that many parents prefer to go to their trusted pediatrician, and so we're working very closely with pediatrician's offices. Michigan has already allocated more than 287,000 pediatric COVID doses based on population, and 85% of so-called vaccine for children providers are already enrolled to get COVID shots into little arms. So as soon as it's approved, it's, as soon as it has emergency authorization, those doses will come into the state and go directly to providers. We won't see mass vaccination sites like we saw at Ford Field and TCF Center, but the state is reaching out to schools and adolescent clinics and will also use existing testing sites at churches, local community centers, and provide vaccines at local events and at frequently visited locations. What we'd like to do is make it so that no one has to wait, nobody has to look around for vaccine doses, that they're available at the places they would like to get their children immunized. Children 11 and under are America's largest group of the completely unvaccinated. And as chief medical officer for the state, Bagdasarian says immunizing children is a critical step in beating back the virus, stopping school outbreaks, and protecting the immunocompromised, both children and adults. They may be elderly and have other comorbidities. So both for protection of the individual as well as from a community standpoint, vaccinating children is really important. But despite the millions of people who've already gotten the shot, some parents will be reluctant, like Devin Calloway, who remembers his COVID side effects. I got the Pfizer. <laughs> And after the first shot, I was feeling nauseous and weak for at least two days. And that's not what I want for them right now. For those parents who are feeling uncomfortable and on the fence, I think it's really worthwhile having these conversations with a trusted health advisor. Like your pediatrician. Now, Dr. Bagdasarian says vaccination rates for physicians are high here in Michigan and across the country. And many doctors are excited about vaccinating their own children. And she hopes that'll send a signal to families across the state that the vaccine is both safe and effective in protecting from severe illness and death. And of course, that's what we all want. You know, we can't completely eradicate COVID, but we certainly want to eliminate the severe illness and death. We have to get past this pandemic. Without and a doubt. This is one of the steps that will. The largest group of the completely unvaccinated are small children. Got to take care of them. Time now, 660.